everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video we will see how to resolve the n plus one problem in graphql with spring boot so this is i think part six of integrating graphql with spring boot so what we will do is that so here in get post you see that one post can have multiple comments and i'm just firing that query and here you can see uh, this particular post has multiple comments so what is this n plus one problem typically is so given that one suppose i'm fetching five post and each post has five comments so uh, for five post you are unnecessary making another api calls for fetching five comments re related to each post this is because of the field resolver uh, thing which we are using now to resolve this what you could do is firstly uh, you can go to your comment resolver dot java you can comment out your schema mapping and instead of that you can use something like batch mapping and it will give you a map of post along with list of comments and here you can see i am just calling this get comment by post from our comment service now here inside comment repository i have created this find all by post i ids where we will pass all the post ids and uh, this we will be using inside comment service class and here you can see i have created this query because uh, jpa won't be able to do that so here i am selecting c from comment our comment table c where c dot post dot id in first argument so whatever is the first argument that's what i am selecting over here inside this query now uh, if you go to comment service class here you can see i am getting uh, created created this get comment by post which we have uh, uh, sorry which we were using over here get comment by post okay and here you can see first we are getting a list of all the post ids for the list of post which we are passing so we are passing list of post over here right from that we are just fetching all the post ids then with the help of the post ids i am just finding the list of comments so if you see we are using this find all by post ids this over here we are passing list of all the post ids and from that we get list of comments and with the help of that we are just then using post dot stream we are calling the collect method and inside collect we are just doing collectors dot to map for each particular post then we are for each post will have a list of streams right so that's what we are doing over here this part so we are just again converting it to a stream we are filtering it so we just want the uh, uh, we are constructing the comment with the help of the id as well and we are checking if the comments post id is equal to the post id or not if it is equal then we are mapping and creating our comment with the help of the comment id as well as the comment text and then just converting it to a list so yeah that's how it is now there are other field mappers as well uh, now it would depend on you and your application whether how you want it so uh, just think about it in case if you don't want this field uh, mapper resolver thing you can just use this batch mapping thing which will which can help you to solve the n plus one problem yeah that's it thank you for watching bye